Hello, I am here with Vampire Diaries star, Paul Wesley. <sighs> I am here with Vampire Diaries star, Paul Wesley. You said that very enthusiastic. I was very enthusiastic. Was good, Were you good. being sarcastic? No, that was very good. <laughs> Vampire Diaries star, Paul. It's good. Thank Exciting. you. Thank you. You said you were the master of making a fool of yourself? Yeah. How uh, so? Just wait and see. Are you a karaoke guy? Like, how do you make a fool of yourself? You know, it's funny you should ask. I've actually never done karaoke, and I don't plan on doing it right now. Cue the I know music, that was young Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never done karaoke, so maybe I'm not a master of making a fool out of myself. Well, I know you're a master in, of speaking Polish. I That was my first language growing up. It yeah. was? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I um, my parents you know, moved to this country. Uh, in their 20s, and then I, I, I was born shortly thereafter, so at home it was always uh, Polish. So, um, yeah. So, so and, then I, and then I went back, and my grandparents are there, you know, and everything. So, so when you go there, are you just mobbed? What's, what's it like? Well, it's surprisingly, yeah, surprisingly, Vampire Diaries is, uh, is popular there. Why is um, that surprising? Well, I don't know. I mean, sometimes <laughs> shows, yeah, you're right. I mean, sometimes shows, you know, American shows don't translate to Europe right. or, or wherever, but Vampire Diaries is one of these sort of, uh, universally, uh, worldly themed. I guess people love vampires, so um, they do. You know, yeah. So uh, well, actually, it's funny when I go to Poland. It's what's really cool about going to Poland is that they don't just, you know, the Polish people don't just come up and say, "Hey, you're the guy from Vampire Diaries." They actually come up to me and say, "Hey, we know your real last name, which is Wasilewski," <laughs> and they say, oh, you say know, it again. "Before you were a traitor and changed your <laughs> you name changed it. to Americanize it." Um, no, but and, and, and Wasilewski. And then and then and then they say we know you're Polish and they speak Polish. So what can you teach me in Polish? I want to know oh, a good no, curse what, word. Oh, Something oh. that's not too bad. Well, that give me Polish the American might... translation of the curse word that okay. you want, and then I will then try to adapt it. Jackass. Jack. Wow, that's so, <laughs> that's so unique in its Americanized form. I know. I knew I. I can say it. ass. Okay. Let's ass. I think I. Uh, pff, dupa. Dupa. <laughs> I think. <laughs> By the way, I think that could just be like my what my parents called ass, like or something. Or what I my little like childish way of saying it. I don't know if that's the formal curse right. word, but I think it is. Okay. So tiestish dupa is like you're an ass. Okay. So what if you were gonna that's say it. in Polish <laughs> something about season four of Vampire Diaries? Um, a będzie um, fantastyczny sezon. It's gonna be a fantastic season. And in English, let's talk about this season. That's, <laughs> that's so much better. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> and so the end of last season, was there? A, you had to feel some satisfaction. You got the girl. She chose yeah, you. No. I know it's not going to last. I didn't feel any satisfaction. You didn't? No. Here's the thing. I didn't feel any satisfaction because I always feel like, you know, Vampire Diaries, the theme of Vampire Diaries is two, two vampire brothers fighting over a girl. So, like, clearly, it's never going to last. Um, right. And you know, not to discourage our audience, because I do think in the end there will be some sort of a resolution. But I think you know, season, end of season three, her choosing me, I knew it was sort of a short-lived thing. I almost don't want to be the chosen one because audiences want whatever they can't have. Okay, right. so I almost wanted her to choose Damon because I want Stefan and Elena to be the the couple that people go. It, wouldn't it be nice if they were together? Because your imagination is so much more powerful than what's yes. presented to you. So if you have something thrown in your face, you don't want it. You always want what you can't have. Right. So I'm really secretly hoping Dana and Elena get together so everyone gets really sick of them. And then they say, <laughs> Stefan would be so great for her because it's just so annoying watching those two on screen all the time. Joseph Morgan, he yeah, was in great here. Guy. And we have a little clip. Um, oh. he, he taught me, I really wanted to channel my inner vampire. And I said, I didn't know how you got, how you do the vampire face. Oh, so he, I think you're born with it. I think you, you are, but he did give me some pointers. Yeah. So if you want to just look over your shoulder okay. at the screen there, we're going to show you what he taught me. Okay, great. What you do, what you need to do is uh, just think of a, a split second change. So one second you're just normal. And then I find, op first open your mouth really wide. You have to imagine you have the fangs there. And then just like kind of squint up your eyes and think furious. <sighs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> wow. What do you think? First of all, I didn't know you guys had such a good budget, CGI budget. <laughs> there was That's no unbelievable. CGI. Paul, I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Oh, that was all natural. That was unbelievable. By the way, I just <laughs> totally took me by surprise. That was fantastic. Did I, did I frighten you? You did. So we have a game for you. <clears throat> Great. I it like is that. called Vampire or Werewolf. Okay. I am going to have you refer back to the screen behind you, and we are going to show you pictures of different celebrities, and you're going to tell me whether they played 
a vampire or a werewolf Fantastic. in a film. Oh, wow. Eddie Murphy. First, let's identify the celebrity. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. Um, vampire or werewolf? I have, I, I think he played a vampire. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Come on. I mean, yeah. it's almost like we're insulting your this intelligence. This is just, give me a break. Oh, well, obviously, oh, come on, moving out. Werewolf, what do you mean? Get out of here. These are so, what do you mean? This is so, this is awful. I was expecting a challenge here. The first one was good, because I, anyway, so we know that's Lestat. Okay. Come on, wolf. Great film. <laughs> come on, get out of here. This is really, can you guys. Okay. This is awful. Who came up with this game? <laughs> oh, wait, Dakota Fanning, right? Oh, oh, Is that oh, Dakota oh, Fanning? Oh, did we throw him for a loop? Yes. So she was in, oh, wasn't she? Because I've never seen Twilight. Wasn't she in Twilight? I don't know, wasn't she? She was, <laughs> but I don't know if she played a werewolf. I'm gonna take a guess. Okay, take a guess. She looks vampire-esque to me. I would say vampire. Ding. Yeah. Yeah. That was That's the end it. of the game. All right, well here's- So I got every answer correct. Wow. You come back, we're making that tougher. Uh, yes, please, seriously, <laughs> come we're on. We're up in the Annie next Juvenile time. quiz. <laughs>